Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ina. In today's video, we'll be looking at man in the middle attack using app poisoning. So we'll be doing this on a Kali Linux machine. I have a terminal open here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up Wireshark here on the Kali Linux machine, and then we'll filter based on our MAC address. So first let's determine our MAC address. IP address is the command and the MAC address for it zero is right here. So we'll highlight this MAC address. Uh, we'll copy it, copy selection. We'll go ahead and do a open Wireshark. Then we'll apply A filter here it's gonna be for ICMP or ping and it's gonna be for a MAC address so it source equals to paste the MAC address or it destination it's gonna be a MAC address again so we'll filter on any traffic coming from or going into the our interface, it's zero. We'll go ahead and apply this. And then we'll start capturing traffic on it's zero. So as you can see this, nothing is being sent to or from our uh, internet interface. So no traffic is being captured. Now the aim or the goal of this man of the middle attack is to capture traffic between a target and its default gateway on the same LAN. So we'll go to the target device and look at the IP address. So it's a Windows machine to find the IP address, IP config. The IP address is 172.16.1.14. The default gateway is 172.16.1.4. So we'll do a ping to the default gateway. And it's getting replies. However, if we go to a Kali Linux machine on the Wireshark, there's, no, there's nothing being captured. So we're gonna try and see if we can uh, snip that traffic once we enable app poisoning uh, using a tool called EtherCup. Now, we'll open EtherCup. We'll go ahead and uh, open a new uh, command prompt here on a new shell. And we'll use this to open EtherCup. So the command is going to be sudo EtherCup dash OKSG. Put in a password, and this is the graphical interface. And we'll be doing our poisoning here. So the interface is going to be it's zero. We we'll select that. Now we have to add the the host, the target. Click on this um, this four do, uh, three dots. Go to host. Click on it. Then scan for host. It's gonna scan on the local LAN. Once it's done, go back to the menu again and select host again. This time, go to host list. And uh, as we saw before, the target is dot 14. The default gateway is dot four. So we'll select this one, our, tag, our target one. We'll select this one, the default gateway, and our target two. Then we'll select start sniffing. Now it's sniffing. We'll go back to the, we can go back and Look at Wireshark, still there's nothing. We'll go to the target 
machine and start the pings again. You can do the up arrow and uh, we'll do a continuous ping by adding a dash T at the end. And now the ping is going and it's getting replies from the default gateway, the dot four. So once we've selected our targets, target one and target two, what we'll need to do is to, you can verify the targets. If you go back here to the menu, go to targets, you can see the current targets, and it's gonna show you target one and target two. Now, before we begin the, the uh, man, man in the middle attack, you need to select the type. You go under MITM menu, there's different types. We want to go with the uh, app poisoning. Click OK. And then you want to start it. Just you want to start the sniffing. Okay, now the sniffing is, is ongoing. You're not getting a lot of packets. You only see like two ping packets. What we need to do is we need to go to the target machine and then start restart the ping. We can actually do a continuous ping by adding a dash T at the end. So this from the target to the default gateway. Then we'll go back to the Kali Linux machine and on Wireshark, you can see now it's capturing those packets that are going between the, um, the Windows machine, the door 14 to the default gateway, which is the door four. You can go ahead and stop the capture here. So as you can see here, we have ICMP or ping packets coming from our target machine, the 172.16.1.14, going to the 172.16.1.4, which is the default gateway. And these packets are being captured on our Akala Linux uh, it's zero interface. So we are able to sniff traffic going between the two target devices and we can actually go in the packets and see what kind of packets they are. Like this one is a internet control message protocol the, or the ICMP and it's a type A ping request. And then you, the next packet is from the default gateway to the Windows machine. This is a ICMP reply message. So that's how you can sniff packets using app poisoning on Kali Linux. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.